Well, hello Pythonistas on YouTube, welcome to another video. This uh, video is, in this video we are going to create a small, uh, small and simple search app uh, in Flask with the, and connecting it to the Google Plus API. So we'll expand on the first example that we learned in the earlier tutorial in order to visualize the results of our search as a means to show the items we'll use a web page automatically generated on the fly so that we can display the profile image next to the display name for each person or page using a familiar interface so this visualization can help us disambiguate between different results that share the same display name so in order to reach this goal we will introduce flask uh, you can find it here, flask.poco.org. Uh, this is a micro uh, framework for web development that allows us to rapidly produce a web interface. Uh, broadly speaking, Python and web development go hand in hand, and several web-related Python libraries have been around for many years, reaching an interesting level of maturity. Uh, Flask is relatively young compared to other frameworks, but it has it has also reached a level of maturity and has been adopted by a wide community. So <clears throat> we will adopt Flask due to its micro nature. It makes no assumption about the structure of our application and makes it easier to get started with a relatively small amount of code. And that's why I like Flask because it's a very good uh, a good starting point for learning web development and the code is modular you can uh, you can uh, choose what you would like to you to use and also extend it as you like so some of the features of flask include uh, like development server and debugger integrated support for unit testing and support for templating using the jinja 2 library it is unicode based a large amount of extensions for a variety of use of cases. So installing a Flask, if you don't already don't have it, is pip install Flask. I have already installed it, so no need for me to install it again. So if you would like to delve into web development with Flask, I'd like, I highly advise you to buy some books uh, on the subject. There are plenty of uh, books by Packet or Amazon that you can find. Uh, so please do check out if you want to go deeper into this subject. So this script is uh, implements a basic web application in Flask, showing uh, it, and it shows a simple form to query the Google Plus API and display the results. The application is simply an instance of the Flask class, and its main method is run which is used to start the web server. In the example, we will run in uh, run it in debug mode to simplify the debugging process if needed. The behavior of the web app is uh, defined by its routes. That is, when a request on a specific URL is performed, Flask routes this request on the desired piece of code, which will produce the response. In the simplest form, routes in Flask are simply decorated functions and decorators in Python uh, uh, and using decorators in Python is, is, extreme, is extremely simple. Understanding them is not if you are new to the topic. A decorator is simply a function that can be used to enrich the, the behavior of another function by acting as a wrapper around the target function. This change in behavior is dynamic as it doesn't need any change in the code of the target function nor the use of subclassing. In this way, a, sp a specific functionality can be improved without introducing any particular complexity to the existing code base. Generally speaking, decorators are a powerful and elegant tool that can prove to be extremely useful in different situations. So in this uh, script, index and search are decorated functions, and in both cases, the decorator is app.rout. The decorator is called immediately above the target function, prefixing it with the app uh, with the at symbol. And 
the routes and templates, the app.route decorator takes the first parameter with the relative URL of the resource we want to access. The second parameter is the list of supported HTTP methods for a specific URL. If the second parameter is not given, it defaults to the get method. The index function is used to display the entry page, which contains the search form available at the relative URL slash. All this function does is uh, all this function does is uh, return the web page stored in the search underscore form dot html template by means of the render underscore template function. As Flask leverages the Jinja two template library, the render underscore template function reads the code stored in the html file, applies the templating directives and returns the final HTML page as output. So I'm not going to go into too much details. And if you're interested, please check out the official documentation. The purpose of using a templating library is to introduce a special syntax embedded into the web pages that can be parsed to generate HTML dynamically. So the source of uh, search for and this um, uh, this has to be stored in a templates folder. I'll show you the structure of the folder. In so in Google, I have uh, you need to have temp a templates folder and a static folder uh, uh, along with your base um, or base app, Flask app. So in the static folder. We have this search underscore form dot HTML file positioned relative to the Python file running Flask, which is uh, in our case uh, G plus search web search, and this is excuse me search form. This is the this is the HTML page. Uh, the search result we are getting to a little bit later search form is what we are talking about put this in the templates folder so the source contains a basic page over sim uh, overly simplified for brevity with a single form the only templating directive in this page is an if block that checks if uh, for the message variable and shows it in a paragraph if present the form action is sent to the relative URL slash search using the post method this is the configuration of the second decorated function in the g plus g web search file search here so the search function is where the interaction with the google plus api uh, happens Firstly, the function expects a query parameter to be passed through the form. The pra this parameter is accessed through the request.form dictionary. And the global request object in Flask is used to general in general to access the incoming request data. The request.form dictionary provides access to the data that has been passed through a form using a post method. If no query is given, the search function will show the search form again, including an error message. The render underscore template function takes a number of keyword parameters and passes them to the template. In this case, the only parameter is message, which is here. So on the other hand, if a query is provided, the search function will perform the interaction with the Google Plus API and feed the re uh, result to the search results HTML template. The source for the search underscore results dot HTML file is, is as follows on the screen. And this um, HTML page should also be placed in the, in the templates folder. So the core of the body is a for loop which iterates over the list of results for each item in the list, a div element with the details 
uh, for the given item is shown. We notice that the syntax to print the value for a specific variable is constructed with a double curly brackets. For example, item dot display name. This one here. <clears throat> this will print the display name for each item. On the other hand, the control flow is enclosed in percentage sign. Uh, yeah, like in uh, like it starts with curly bracket percentage size space and uh, the for example here this is this uh, this is the control flow so this example also uses a couple of interesting facility that's, that allow easy integration with the cascading style or CSS, cascading style sheet, CSS, necessary to personalize the look of the uh, result page. The loop cycle function is, uh, is used to cycle between a list of strings or variables that, and it's used here to assign, assign different CSS classes to the div blocks that form the results. In this way, the different rows can be highlighted with different alt, uh, different or alternate uh, colors. The other facility is the URL for function used to provide a URL for a particular resource. The static folder, which is similar to the templates folder, has to be placed in the same directory of the G plus, uh, G plus uh, web search file that runs the flask app so in, in the static uh, folder you have to put the css file so it's used to serve static files such as images or css definitions <coughs> so the css file contains definition of the css used in the search result page and it is just these two lines copy this and put it in the static folder So while the topic of web development is not strictly related to data mining, it provides an easy way to rapidly prototype some simple user interface. That's why I like Flask. It's, you can quickly put up a user interface. So the topic is quite vast, and this uh, in this uh, tutorial does name at a comprehensive discussion. An interested uh, researcher is invited to dig into the details of web development and Flask. So let's run this application. I should start our uh, web server. So if you go to this web server now, gives us the search pattern pattern so let's just say that if we don't pro, uh, put any query in there it, it tells us to please enter a search query so let's try python of course python it gives us a nicely alternated search result with images and it also tell us what type of page it is. This is a person and this is a page. So let's go back to our search. There's no link here for back yet. Let's try it for sing. Again, it tells us if it's a person or if it's a page. So as we can see, each item is displayed in its own block with alternate background color and the desired information about the item itself. So the item names are represented with anchor tags with A, and so they are clickable and linked to the related Google Plus page. So I hope that's it for this tutorial, guys, and I hope you have enjoyed this uh, fast paced um, tutorial which is lots of information instead of typing uh, and i have not typed because to to save you guys a lot of time 
Instead, it's better to just copy the code and, and explore it for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, like, uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, uh, or share this video. I appreciate your support uh, so far and uh, I'm happy that you are following me. So yeah, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.